Sky and I'm back. Microphone Bullies on MBTV is back. And right now I am here with Mocha Velaz. It's good to see you again. Yo, it's an honor. <laughs> I feel blessed to be around y'all. MBTV. What's good? Talk That's to me. Fuck. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, right? Like two years. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, we had to get back up with you. We had to catch up, find out what, what you got going on. You are so busy. I don't even know where to start. But we're going to start. All right. What have you been up to? What's going on? How you feeling? Uh, I feel great. Um, very lively. Um, I'm about to head to Europe tomorrow. Oh, my god! I'm going for like three months straight. Nice. Got to make a, a lot of power moves. Really concerned in the compound. I'm building a compound studio out of Vegas. Right. Two stories, four studios, sleeping quarters. Nice. I want to put like six to eight rooms that you could come in soundproof and just chill then i want to build a basketball court on the second floor Fourth okay floor. wait a minute wait a minute slow <laughs> down let's let's start from the beginning okay so you're building a compound yeah so this is going to be like a multimedia compound where it, there's going to be so much going on everything okay everything multimedia what what made you come up with the concept first of all for this compound simple i have a lot of you know, people in the industry, just like MBTV. I got my boy, Philly Flyboy. I got um, guys that shoot, you know, photography. I got different engineers. Right. And every time they come to my recording studio in Vegas, hey Mo, do you know somebody who does this right. or who does that? Yeah. Yo, is there a basketball court around here? Yeah. Yo, which hotel or Airbnb I could get? I'm like, whoa, hold on. If there's a, a demand for something and nobody's actually, you know, doing anything to fulfill that demand, right. I'm gonna take it on. It's gonna be tough because the last time I sat down with y'all, I was talking about building a, a barbershop, the Two right. Handsome franchise. Yes. I got the TVs in the floor. Okay. I got the baby grand piano. <laughs> I got a huge shower. Right. The tiles got imported from Greece. Okay, so you did that. <laughs> Killed you it. did that. And I'm so not, now you're moving on yes, to, the, to the compound. To the compound. Okay, this is dope. Because the building, let me tell you what, what I do. I use Microphone Bully to put me under pressure. I will say I'm going to do something. Right. And if I'm putting it out there in the metaverse. To get into existence. I have to. Right. So when I watch the interview, I'm like, ah, I got to get off, <laughs> off this couch. <laughs> I right. got to go make some calls. Right. I can't be lazy anymore. Right, right. So it's, it's like... Everybody comes into Vegas now because that's my new, you know, that's why I'm stationed at. Mm -hmm. And every time they come in, I feel like, damn, I'm dropping the ball. I could be, I be, I could be catering to everybody. I could be making sure that everybody's needs are met it. I in it. one shot. So this compound is going to be probably on an acre, mm -hmm. and I'm going to have. Um, so I'm, you have studios in there. Mm -hmm. You have. Everything. Let me know everything that you have going on in this company. All right, so the build out in my mind, because right now it's going to cost, the building I'm looking at is like 1.1 1 .1 million. Okay. And I'm 25% there. So it's a lot that goes on, and now I got to be real frugal with my money. Like, right. I'm not even buying new clothes. I only bought new clothes for this interview. Listen, you're <laughs> in the process of something great. That's what we go through. Okay. All right. So... What do we have in this compound? What do we what do we have? All right. It sounds like it's gonna be amazing. I might even build a if I can, if if the state of Nevada, which been amazing to me, if you'll <laughs> even give me permission to put an Olympic sized swimming pool, we doing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just We're going big. We're going got, big. You got to. It's gonna have the infinity wall or the white cyclorama. Okay. I need that. I need the access. So any car that you could pull in, you pull in. Right. I want artists to feel like, you know what? This is home. I want yeah. the labels to say, yeah, we could leave them at Fever getting cash. Right. They're going to come back completed. I want to be that, you know, it's like a juxtaposition. There's the artist, there's the label, right. and then there's that middle space. Right, where it caters to all. That's it. I get it. It sounds dope. It sounds really dope. Absolutely. Okay. So, and as far as the compound, I know you're also doing a lot of big things. Like you said, you're going to Europe. Definitely. tomorrow yeah but you're also going to be doing a lot of touring you recently mm -hmm. signed a new artist from yonkers new york little little rory, rory skirt Skr. okay and talk to us about how that was signing him deciding to make that move and then taking him to the next level all right well it goes back to like 2007 2008 when um i first met up with d block big shouts to poobs jada styles and chic 
And um, those boys took me under their wing. Like I used to go to D-Block Studio all the time and I'll sit down with Poobs numerous days, right. nights, and he will school me. And then Jada will come in right. and Jada will, be, will have me sit outside. Then Styles P, the ghost, I figured out why they called him the ghost. And mm -hmm. the first time, remember I'm from Queens. Right. So I was jacking like the G unit, but you know, G unit was like blown up so big that I was like, you know what? Let me get him where I fit in. And Jada been my favorite rapper of all time. Like I, Jada's dope. Yeah, Jada's been my mm -hmm. favorite rapper of all time. So I said, you know what? Let me make the move to Yonkers. So I came to Yonkers. And the fact that D-Block looked out for me, like they, they reprogrammed everything I knew about the music, but oh. the business. Right. They showed me the business. So I'm here and I'm picking up stuff from Jada, picking up stuff from Style. Mm -hmm. Sheik is like, really the businessman Sheik is the one who like a lot of people don't know that yeah Sheik is like all business yeah, yeah. I mean they see his size they get intimidated mm -hmm. but and then Poobs is like the quiet assassin yeah so yeah. they gave me an opportunity they even said Mo we can sign you but so, you're more like an LL Cool J type right so if we sign you it might hurt your career mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was like nah you're cool you know I'm, I'm not a goon I'm a hustler right. and you know so it's a it was like at that turning point and that's when i was like all right cool so because yonkers looked out for this queens nigga mm -hmm. i made sure i made a promise return the favor, return the favor. Right. i can't go out and sign a queens nigga when yonkers looked out for me so it was only right i got somebody from yonkers so i ended up moving to yonkers mm -hmm. i lived there for like close to eight years wow. you know i stayed on central ave yes. on, on the other side of yonkers mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because yonkers a little too Yes. A little too hectic. So, a little, a little <laughs> I'm from too... Yonkers, I should know. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and I'm from South Jamaica, Queens, so I don't want to leave a war zone to go to another war right. zone. Yeah, you know, yeah. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. So, yeah. signing Lil Rari's skirt, I actually watch him, I watched the process of him growing up from an adolescent to a young man, teenager, right. to who he is today. Okay. You know, a young adult. Mm -hmm. And the same thing I've noticed, he always wanted it, but sometimes... I wanted to see how bad he wanted it. Right. So I always made sure he sacrificed. Yeah. If you don't sacrifice, I can't come in. But now that he's signed, I'm going to throw him on the little TJ tour, a nice. worldwide tour later this year. Okay. Um, he's going to be going over overseas more. It just, COVID just put a damper on yeah. everything. Yeah, so, it kind of halted everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. So we had a lot of shows lined up for him. But now that the world's opening back up yeah. by June, July, we're, we're set to go. We're back outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And what are your hopes for him as an artist? And do you plan on signing any more artists? That's a great question. Um, it was only, to be honest with you, there's only two artists I ever wanted to sign. It was him and Jay Poles. Okay. Or Poles Bandicoot. You know, I, I've literally watched their best friends. So I've literally, literally watched both of them grow up right. together. Mm -hmm. um, the plans is right now... I'm working with Chad C. Note Roper, Grammy okay. nominated okay. singer, songwriter. The guy, he has accolades out the Yazoo. He manages Lakia from QC. Big, big shouts to Lakia. And working with Chad, I'm learning another aspect of the game. I'm learning the behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like the real curation that, that, that goes down. So down the line, I might sign another artist, but you can't just go sign an artist until you get your your marquee. Like Lil Rari Skirt is a marquee right, artist to me. Right. It's just not music. Me and him have a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. It's personal. It's, it's making deeper. yeah. It's, it's deeper. deeper. Like you know, um, once he transfers his license and stuff, I'm gonna pick him up a BMW M5. Ow, nice little gift. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I just made sure I went out and got his chain. It's a twenty thousand yeah. dollars chain. VVS is big shout to Ori the Jeweler. You know what I'm saying? Miami. My, my nigga five star, yo, I fucks with y'all, man. I just know that I fucks with y'all. So yeah, Rari is, um, he's priority. It took me a while to get him though, because it was either between him and Poles and I dealt with other artists, but I was never like really invested. I will always try to look out because as a, you know, everybody considered me an OG. I, I, I paved the, I paved the way. Mm -hmm. So for me, I got to always get back. And a lot of these artists, they just believe in instant gratification. Yeah. Social media made it to the point that people just want it now. And nobody yeah. says thank you. They don't you. want to work hard. Yeah. They don't want to, yeah. Nobody says thank you. Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? But Rari sacrificed. When I say sacrifice, I'm not talking nothing menial. I'm talking real deal right. shit. Like, mm -hmm. and that's why I, I look at him as an equal. And that's why I'm going to make sure he gets signed. 
to he signed to Forever Getting Cash, right. which is you're indie, a label. right? You're a label. But now um, we're in talks with a couple labels, but I'm gonna wait for the labels to come to us. You know, we're in no rush. I'm gonna keep him torn. We're gonna launch his merchandise. We already just did his EPK, which is EPK dash skirt dot com. You can check him out through there. And um, I'm working on getting him verified. So no later than next month, he'll be verified on Instagram. And then I'm gonna just jack up his feature price and everything. It looks like you're providing a great look for him. He looks like he has a great future, and we wish him all the best because we just spoke with him, so he really is. He seems like a great kid. Um, and I also want to talk a little bit about you. Yeah. Are we going to get some new music from Mocha? Big shout out to Renzel. <laughs> Young <laughs> Renzel. Yeah, I got a track with Rick Ross right now. Uh-oh. Was that exclusive? <laughs> yes. That was an exclusive. You seen that, right? right? on MBTV. Okay. Yeah. So you have a new single. Talk to me about the single, and when are we going to get it? I'll give it to you all first. When it does come out, I'm going to make sure you all blast it first. Okay. You know, because... um. Ross, uh, somebody who I looked up to as well. And um, when I started my career, I started my career, I left Queens and um, I relocated to West Palm Beach in 2005. And I met Ross and I seen Khaled and you know what it is, like, it's, I always felt like this lone wolf. I never had that, like, that team. Right. By the time I started really taking music seriously, all my boys been, been killed dead, you know? so. I had to like start over from zero and I don't trust anybody. You know, niggas set me up to get killed mm -hmm. twice. I wear the scars and I wear it proudly. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple holes in my body. I got a 32 inch scar on the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? So I got, I grew up the braids cause I got like, I, I'm split open up here. So I'm just like, you know, let me move. You've been through some Yeah, things. you know, and I just smile every day because I said to myself the other day in the year 2121, I won't be here. So what is there to really bitch about mm -hmm. life? And I mm -hmm. live in the best country in the world. So I always kept tabs on Rose and I, I watched them work. And I was like, you know, one day and all my young boys be like, yo, you and Rose on a track together mode will be crazy. Yeah, so definitely. big shots to my homie Dayon. Mm -hmm. Dayon put me in touch with Slab MMG, which is Rose's right hand man. And you know, Ross invited me to his crib, mm -hmm. you know, went out to the mansion and Nice. I was, it's, you know, that was all the motivation that happened March 2021. Okay. And that was all the motivation I needed. When you're going to somebody who you, you know, is like your constituent, somebody who they compare you to, and you see how he's living. Right. So could you imagine the sacrifices he put yeah. in? Yeah. So I'm here thinking, oh, I'm working hard. Negative. Mm -hmm. I had to get up off my ass and put that ego that I had thinking, yeah, I'm doing shit. Because you're going into somebody's crib and you're like, hmm, but this is what 100 <laughs> acres look like. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, we saw Ross's crib and coming to America too, so right. we know what's going on right. there. <laughs> you know, so. That's dope. We definitely support Ross over here on MBTV. He has definitely, you know, done a couple things for us. So we are definitely looking forward to the Absolutely. fact that you have. And anything else? Any other surprises? What else can we expect from Mocha Blast? Uh, no, I got a, I got a lot. I got a lot coming We know. Up. I got a we lot. We know. You're working hard. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so much. Like, right now, I'm just going to go overseas. Um, I'm going to Holland. Okay. And I'm going to um, I'm going into a fight camp at Hammond's Gym. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Left turn. More things. Okay. Yeah. You know, I got to get back in shape. Um, big shots to Florida Film House. I just had a meeting with them. Again, my boy, Philly Fly. He, he puts me in touch with every everybody, so I'm going to get into the into the Hollywood aspect, start acting and everything. Okay, nice. You know, All right, we may see you on our big, our big screen. Yes. So, okay. The big screen. We're not mad at it. Mocha, the it was big great screen. to see you. <laughs> it really was. It was an honor. You're always welcome on MBTV. Oh, definitely. <laughs> see you in two more years. Yes, big. we have to catch up again very soon. Beat Hogan. Hit me in the jack, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, MBTV, microphonebully.com, Mocha Blast. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs>